Hey, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make Adobe Audition CC generate speech even better if you're on macOS. Okay, here we are. Effects generate speech, and you can use voices like Alex. Hey there. Or a voice like Fred. Let's have a listen. Hey there. So lots of different voices you can generate using generate speech in Adobe Audition. But if you're on a Mac and you go into your system preferences and look at accessibility and then the speech tab, you will notice the different system voices you have access to here. Usually United States novelty not loaded by default uh, in Mac OS. So you may want to go into customize where you can then go through and check out all the different voices you would like to choose from and give them a tick. When you tick them, and click OK, your Mac OS will download that voice data onto your operating system and it will be available to you in Adobe Audition. So you can expand your voice talent roster just by ticking here uh, and you can preview them. <laughs> That's Albert there. The you see at the end of the tunnel. Bruce. I sure like being inside this fancy computer. Princess. Let's play her. When I grow up, I'm going to be a scientist. So I'll click, yeah, I want princess, okay, and then you can see it will add it, hopefully, very quickly. Oh, it did it immediately in my case. Sometimes it needs to download, sometimes it doesn't, but then I should be able to hop back over here, English, female, and we're looking for princess, and there she is, available. It says she's eight years old. You can change her volume and speaking rate as well. Hey there. So I can make it much slower like this and play this. Hey there. Lots you can do, and that is a way to easily improve, generate speech, and make it even better if you're on macOS.